We're here at the Prusa booth at the Sanjay Motor Rev Fest 2024. And we're joined by Nicholas. Hello. Thanks for uh, popping in, if sure. you will. Yeah, literally, yeah. We're looking at the new hotness, the Core 1. This is Prusa's latest printer that finally in the smaller form factor deviates from Cartesian to a Core XY. Talk yes, to us. Yes, I'm super excited to have it here. And it's hard to pick the first thing to show. I guess the thing we see is the frame. It's yeah. the exoskeleton design. You can imagine it. There's no like extrusions and then we slap panels around it. The enclosure is the frame. You take one screwdriver, one torque screwdriver. You can imagine it as two L's. You like remove this front part. You remove the side panel, still one screwdriver, and you have like naked printer, naked Core XY, and you have all parts super easily accessible because it's a pain point when you have an enclosed printer to work on it. Oh yeah, it's terrible. It hurts my back. I have to like, this is, oh yeah. yeah, no, real pain. And it's quite simple to remove all these panels. Enclosed printer, so we can now do active chamber temperature control. So we have fans in the back, which can vent excess heat out. In the slicer, you can now actually set nozzle temperature, heat bed temperature, and chamber then you go temperature. chamber temperature. Yep. And the printer measures the temperature inside the chamber, and it will regulate the fans in the back accordingly. So as soon as you reach the target temperature, it will start venting the excess heat out. And but you get to the temperature fairly quickly. Okay. We made the internal volume as small as possible. Yeah, these get rightfully close to the edge exactly. of the build plate. It makes big difference. Like yeah. when you talk to the Voron guys, they say that when you put the spool inside, that makes big difference to how quickly it takes to heat up. Huh. So when you take all this volume out from the internal part, it really heats up much, much faster. And to be clear, it is still a passively heated machine. It is using the heat bed as a chamber heater, right? Is it a passive heating when you have an at 100? Well, there's no active chamber heating beyond the heat bed. Beyond the 150 watt heater, that's the heat bed. I'm sure with the GPIO board and with the extension boards, people will hack it to add additional heaters, circulate the air inside and all sorts of crazy things. There's a little bit of space on the front and a little corner back there that might be usable. I don't know. There's like holes for cable pass through to the back. There is extra power to USB-C for things like the camera. So, pulls the camera out of the printer. Yeah, it's magnets. How do they work? Yeah, no actually, idea. this unit we're talking about, one side is used to store the filament, so it's not in the back. I I, I hate when the filament it's is in It's terrible. The side or the top or so the front. So the side, not only does it make the internal volume smaller, so it heats up faster, but it creates extra space on the outside where you can add the spool. And on the other side, we can do some like magnetic add-ons which you can then fill with all the goodies. The and these are community things, right? This, we already released the, we haven't shipped the unit yet, but we released the sub files of the side panels. There was a Reddit post with some really intricate design that this one is our own. We created a dry box for the filament on the other side. Can I? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I don't, uh, I don't know how you to just do it. pull, Aha. yeah. Oh, there's, a, there's filament in there's here. There's filament inside. Okay, I'm like, it, it's got some gravity to it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, this is definitely, uh, you know, Prusa made. There's with all the a silica gel stuff. container in nice. there. Nice. And we'll own the hygrometer on the outside. And and I mean, finally, uh, it's a 3D printer with a place for your fish also. So that's also very useful I've because. Been that's... wondering where I was going to put my fish. It's an uh, essential part. We, yeah. You, everyone knows what the fish is for. So it's, we can yeah. just skip that one. But you guys did something that even I didn't expect with this machine. You made an upgrade path from the Mark IV S to the core one. And it's not just like a, you replace everything. Like, no, you're if you look at lot. the machines side by side, they are super different. But yeah, you use the Mark 52 heat vat. The sheet is the same size. It has a different graphics because we can print more over it, like to the very front. But everyone who bought the extra print sheets, they can use it on the core one. Mm -hmm. Everyone who bought nozzles, they can use it on the next extruder on the Core 1 because it's the same next extruder. It's the exact same. And if different mounting for the Core XY. Right. It's mounted on a linear rail, but, and the fan is in the back, so you can actually see the nozzle, which I really like. Very nice, yes. But otherwise, it's, it's an extruder. It's the same screen. It's the same Z lead screws. We just ship you a third one if you do the conversion. So you, you already have two, and we will ship you the Wait, 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 wait. It's the same Z lead screws. But, but you've somehow gotten an extra 50 millimeters out of it. Uh, just under an extra two inches for nothing. I mean, I just, that sounds like a great deal for me. 
it, I I couldn't believe it how, but how actually did you guys do because that? of the yeah, it's the core XY is really the way we made it is really space efficient. Oh, and it, it's because it, it's mounted higher here yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And th this like okay, so the steel frame we already talked about it, but now we are talking at another part which is my favorite, and that's the the square. That's the whole core XY gantry. So we laser cut it from a single piece of steel. So you have the square, that's square. It's always square and you just attach the parts to it. it the machine does some bending, but it will be always square. It's like we tried to assemble it as crooked as we could. It was square. So that's, you just take the whole thing out and it's one piece and you put it on and you have the Core XY gantry, the Core XY assembly working. That's nice because that's like, one of the things that was always tough about building the Core XYs is if it's not right, it's racking a little yeah. bit, it's gonna get skewed. It's so yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You so you reuse all of those, you reuse the power supply, mm -hmm. the electronics, but you have chamber lights, chamber fans, chamber thermistor, and other filament sensor on the outside, but it's the same board. So we made a little extension board. We now have, oh, a, we now like, have, wait, a, wait. We now have a CAN bus, okay. a Prusa bus. Prusa bus, okay. You Lava bus? You plug Alpaca it into bus. the MMU port, you get a new board, which has all the extra connectors, and then yet another MMU board on it. So it works as it's CAN bus, you just, yeah. Like I was like, ooh, could I add lights to my Mark IVs without doing anything? Nope, nope, yeah, you gotta get that little. Can, 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 is it possible to buy that little extra board on its own at some point? Yes, to, it's a spare part, so. So I could add all those features to a Mark IVs that I didn't necessarily want to go up to a Core 1 at I'm some point. Yeah, and you can flash custom firmware and keep warranty. Really? So if you wanna, if you wanna do that, like. When, when did that be? I, so with the Core 1, we tried to listen so the original idea of the of the appendix was to, when someone modifies their printer and their house burns down and hurts ten people, you, you don't, don't want, want the liability. We don't want to be liable for that. Yeah. You also would lose warranty at that point. Right. You had to but, cut the thing on the board. But we are now changing that so people can flush custom firmware. The liability is still on them in that case because we have no control over the firmware. Right. But they keep the warranty on all the all the parts. Wow. So, so I hope it will. With the GPIO board, the extension board, the warranty with custom firmwares, I hope we will see like more crazy mods. I want to see this one that looks like a claptrap and sings that he's scared of stairs whenever a print finishes. Ah, now I can poke things with my head, just like I always wanted. Which one of you masochists is going to put Clipper on this first? Because it's it's not it's not a Clipper printer. No, no, it's a free RTOS with Marlin Motion Planner, but like majority of it is ours, which is why we can do the chamber temperature control. I think this is a bit of a pain point on Clipper. If we say Clipper three times, it's like someone from the Voron design team. Beetlejuice, just, Beetlejuice. There's like, you know, there's like, there's like Max pop in the background or something. I have been summoned. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that I just remember that's kind of cool is, I mean, people print PLN, PETG. That's yep. the most commonly used materials. And even we would, would like tell people, well, if you have the enclosure, leave the door open for those. Right because it needs the extra cooling. But imagine our farm with 600 of these and 600 doors open. Oh, don't put Uncle Jesse and in And one there. Uncle Jesse walks by on a tour. Okay. And you have 600 broken... Uh... Is it glass? No, so that's, the, that's, okay. that's kind of my point. It opens to 180 degrees. It doesn't shatter when it goes to the end. It's... I would say pretty industri indestructible. We'll, we'll see about that, but it's... No, 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 don't tell Florida man it's indestructible. I don't, would say it's Uncle that. Jesse proof, at least. Okay. It's nice stoned plexiglass. And then there's one more thing that will blow minds of 10% of people and nobody else will care. But you can flip the door and make them open to the other side. So those of those 10 people who have the access from the wrong side, you can flip them and I hope you will appreciate that little touch. W will it come with a spare set of stickers so that I can do the stickers the graphics, the that's kind of, I had the pain point of working with the designer. It still works when you flip it. You just twist it. So you have Prusa here and Corvan there, it doesn't break. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, because if, if you had it, you know, like here and here, yeah, it would then be upside down. That does work. Exactly. We had like a nice, uh, like corners for the print volume. Uh -huh. But exactly, when you flip it, it was wrong. So we made graphics that works in both orientations. I see you listen to Joel telling. You, you, you made sure the nozzle was below the, uh, yes. the, 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 the brace in there. You didn't want him to get the 
angle grinder, exactly. not the angle cutter. We'll, we'll uh, see what he thinks, but I think he will be totally fine with this. <laughs> the price point, I was surprised by that. I think we found our, our, our thing with the frame because the manufacturers in China, they are really good at the injection molding of aluminum. They are really good at robotic hands yeah. and it's hard to match the price of the manufacturing in Europe. But turns out we are really good at machining steel. Like that's our thing. A lot of bent sheet metal. So we can do this locally. We can do this in the Czech Republic with free suppliers an hour drive from us. That's awesome. We don't have to ship something from across the world and we can do it locally. It's steel. So it's like I Joe stood on this printer. Like it, it can it can take one Joe. Well, we're going to be coming to the factory here in just a couple of days. Could we see if it holds one Florida man? I think it, it will it would hold. We, we need to try that. I don't know how heavy Joe is, but I have a feeling I, I might best him for better or worse. Maybe it, you can try if it holds one Florida man and one Joe. So yeah, but I think this is this we found like a our, our, our way to make a core XY that's very different from everything else that's already on the market. What uh, is the price point, by the way? 950 pounds. Yep. Yeah, it's just it's barely like 100 more than uh, 150 more than the Mark 4S. Yeah. Because, like I say, it's basically the parts we know that work well, plus the the steel frame and the extra fans, thermistor, nothing Love extra it. crazy that you would have to spend more on. And uh, the proverbial Prusa tax was a lot less than than I was expecting. Someone that has a lot of I have a lot of Prusa printers, and I like them. This thing does change a lot of it. So much smaller space for yeah. bigger build volume. They're tileable. You can have the doors on any side you want. Takes Obviously, have the space of Mark IV in the enclosure, but prints 30% bigger things. So, gotta love it, guys. Love to know what you would want to see about the Core One when we go visit the factory in Prague. And I promise it won't take a year to get the videos out. <laughs> but if you do want to see our tour from last year when I had long hair, we'll card to that right above so you can take a look. Mickey, this has been amazing. I love seeing it. You know, we've got the one on the stilts here. That's actually way better for filming. I'm, I'm excited. You're excited. And yeah, these are again community like uh, fun mods. You can do I this. just the only thing I need is I need a wheel kit for it so I can just add it as an extra, uh, you know, it, it, in plain bag just to take it home. Battery radio, you could be riding around sitting on a Corwan. Hammond! What? I'm drifting this Corwan. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. It may be, maybe Unpowered will have an alligator pull it. We're not going to do that. Seriously, check out the Core One. We'll link to it in that description down below. Let us know, obviously, what you want to see about the Core One. Any extra features and details. That is all we have for you all today because, you know, you're going to have to see more at the factory. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your lovers. Don't forget to donate to the SMF. Yes. And as always, keep making awesome. Bye bye. Good one. Again? Probably. <laughs> nope. <laughs>